Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. I'm here today to show you guys how to do a pretty difficult problem and I'll try my best to explain everything. Uh, but basically, um, it's a problem that involves velocity and displacement and distance and you need to know a bit of calculus in order to solve this. Uh, in particular, you need to know how to differentiate and how to integrate. So let's start going through the problem. So the problem is um, the velocity of an object located 5 meters right of the origin initially. So if you think of this as the origin point, right, the object is located 5 meters to the right. Okay, so the distance is 5 meters to the right of the origin. Right, and this is the object. Right, and the velocity, so we don't, we're not given the equation for displacement, but we get given the equation for velocity is equal to um, t squared minus 2t minus 3, where t is a number of seconds. So right now, initially, um, which is t equals 0 seconds, this is where the object is located and what we want to know is where the object will be at t equals 5 seconds okay what is the displacement of the object so in order to solve part a what you need is you need to understand that um, the displacement okay let's set the variable for displacement as x so x represents the displacement now if we differentiate x with respect to time we will get velocity right because velocity is the rate of change of displacement over time right so uh, we are given the equation for velocity so what that means is in order to get the displacement equation from the velocity equation we need to integrate the velocity equation which is the opposite of differentiating. We need to integrate it and that's what this line means. The displacement is equal the displacement is equal to the integral of V. So we need to integrate velocity to get displacement again. So if we get the equation for um, velocity and insert it in this integral where V is, so t squared minus 2t minus 3 dt right so if you guys remember how to integrate okay we put in um, we use the formula for integrating and we get t cubed over 3 minus 2t squared over 2 minus 3t plus a constant okay and that's the equation for displacement with respect to time and um, you guys have been told that when time is equal to zero the object is located five meters from the origin to the right so when time is equal to zero right zero cubed over three is zero zero squared times one is zero so minus zero minus three times zero is zero plus c is equal to uh, five meters alright because it's five meters to the right and let's assume that to the right is positive right positive five meters so therefore C is equal to five and we can substitute C back into the integral of velocity the displacement equation and we will get t cubed over three minus 2t squared over 2 is just t squared minus 3 minus 3t three plus 5 that's the displacement equation and then the question wants to know if we substitute t is equal to 5 into the displacement equation so substitute in t is equal to 5 then we will get 6.67 rounded to two decimal places according to the Google calculator so that's 6.67 uh, meters to the right 
of the origin. Right. So if we go back to our diagram, right, originally the object is um, five meters away from the origin. So let's call this line the origin. Right. The object is located five meters away. Right. Object. This is our object at time is equal to zero. And then another um, 1.67 meters is the object, again, I should draw it with the same size, the object again at time is equal to 5 seconds. All right, so we found the answer. So the total displacement of the object is 6.67 meters away from the origin at time is equal to 5 seconds. So we have done part A. Now let's do part B. Find the total distance traveled in the first 5 seconds. All right, so if let me draw the diagram again. I know you guys must be sick of the diagram. So this is the origin. All right. And we know that the object is 5 meters away from the beginning at time is equal to 0. All right. This distance here is 5 meters at time is equal to 0. And then at time is equal to 5, the object is now another 1.67 meters away. So does that mean the distance traveled between um, time is equal to zero to time is equal to five, right? The distance traveled in the first five seconds, is it 1.67? Right? Is it 1.67? Because originally the object is here and now it's here, so the distance travel should be 1.67, shouldn't it? And the answer is yes, only if the, we are certain, certain that the object moved from this point to this point in five seconds and didn't go anywhere else, right? Because the difference between the concept of distance and displacement is that if the object had moved, let's say, from here, okay, before or ending up at this point, let's say the object moved to the left a certain amount, and then moved to the right, we need to count this whole distance that it has traveled. We need to add up this whole distance together, and not just the change in displacement. So in order to add up the difference, right, the, in order to add up the distance it has traveled, we need to firstly find out the, um, we need to find out how much distance it has traveled. So how do we do that? Well, let's have a look at the velocity equation. Okay, let's draw a graph of the velocity equation. So for part B, the first step, <clears throat> is actually draw a graph of the velocity equation velocity equation and the graph is t squared minus 2t minus 3 and hopefully you guys all remember how to draw a graph of a quadratic so I'm not gonna go through that here so I've quickly drawn a graph of um, the velocity and you can see here the y-axis is equal to v bracket t that's the y-axis and the x-axis is equal to time and you can see here that between time is equal to zero and time is equal to three seconds okay between time is equal to zero and time is equal to three the velocity is negative right the velocity is in the negative plane 
So this means that between time is equal to zero and time is equal to three, right? Between these two points, the object is moving towards the left. Right? How do we know this? Because um, in our equation, okay, we have decided that the object, okay, is located right of the origin initially, and we've said that the right of the origin is positive. So what that means is negative is to the left, and because the velocity, this is the equation, this curve represents the velocity. And because the velocity is negative, okay, between um, x is between time is zero and time is three seconds, right? That means that the object is moving towards the left. So we need to know basically, right? Here is the origin. Here is the object at time. So here, this zero here this solid dot represents the object at time is equal to zero. We need to know where the object is at time is equal to three. So we need to know, need to find the location of the object at time is equal to three, All right? And then we already know that between time is equal to 3 to time is equal to 5, the speed is positive, right? This section of the speed is positive. So we know that it was moving towards the right to reach this location, which was object at t is equal to 5, which was um, 6 point six seven meters away from the origin this was six point six seven meters away as we calculated previously right but we need to know where the object was at t is equal to three so let's substitute t is equal to three into the displacement equation so let's copy that equation all right let's copy this equation and move it down here all right, so um, let's substitute in t is equal to three. So three cubed over three minus three squared minus three times three plus five, and we get negative four meters. So what that means is when um, the time is at three seconds, the object is located at the object is located at, um, so this is time is equal to three seconds. The object is located at four meters. Four meters to the left of the origin. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that between time is equal to zero to time is equal to five, what's happened is it's moved to the left five meters, and then it's moved to the left another four meters, all right? And then it has moved to the right 10.67 meters. So let's write that out. Between t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 3, object moves left, right? Between t is equal to 0 to t is 3, object moves left. Firstly, it moves left 5 meters. Then it moves left 4 meters. Right, originally it's five meters from the origin. Then it moves another four meters away. So or it, it in total has moved left nine meters. And then between t is three to t is five, 
the object shifted from here all the way to over here which means it has moved 4 plus 6.67 so object moves to the right 4 plus 6.67 which is 10.67 meters so in total distance traveled is 9 plus 10.67 so that's 19.67 meters and that is the total distance traveled okay thanks for watching